Once again, we ask the age-old question. Whose cuisine reigns supreme? Three, two, one. Oh God, here we go to create a profile. Oh, we got a career mode. Cool. Why should options? Volume seven. Okay. Why can't I get down to back? You. Bye, chef. Tells you about everything you can do with your chef, okay? Probably. It's a school. Tuna. Practice dish, okay. We can practice dishes here. We're gonna go ahead and get into our careers. It's Lambert. Yeah, we gotta go up against Lambert. Here we go. After years of toiling away in kitchens all over the world, you have finally been given your chance. You have been chosen to stand among the elite. You will test your skills against the absolute best that the culinary world has to offer. The Iron Chefs. Our chairman has seen fit to assemble his best and brightest iron chefs from all of the world's kitchen stadiums. Routinely, they do battle against the greatest culinary minds. The International King of Iron Chefs Tournament collects them in the one place for the first time in history. The battle is about to begin, so only one question remains. Will your cuisine reign supreme? I don't know. I don't know. I introduce to you all a special challenger in this illustrious competition. The only competitor who does not already hold the title of Iron Chef. How to get choppy, yep. Welcome, Chef, to Kitchen Stadium. About to start an epic battle. A match of skills and creativity previously unseen. You will battle. Oh. Iron Chef. Jacques Lambert! <laughs> this will be challenging for you. There's always more to a battle on Kitchen Stadium than just the hour time limit. The wily chairman often pops up a surprise just to keep things interesting. With bated breath, here we sit, audience, judges, and I, your humble announcer, waiting to see what great riches and devilish challenges await. Let's to the chairman. Chefs, there is one final ingredient to this battle. Our secret ingredient. The secret ingredient is... Zucchini! Zucchini! Oh. What? Zucchini! 
Kitchen Stadium and its theme ingredient altar are a cruel mistress indeed. Throwing a curveball at these two chefs. Let us away to the cooking. Just don't put it behind a cap, please. Collect three, three to six dishes. Zucchini pita pockets, zucchini salad, zucchini melon, zucchini lasagna, zucchini fajita, zucchini pizza, hot stickers. Well, I want to do dessert, but pita pockets. Rob, I want to do pita pockets to open my menu. No. I want to open my menu with some pot stickers. Main course is going to be the pita pocket, and we're going to do some crap. There we go. Mix. Aim the remote at the knob and press the B button. You move the cursor from side to side to adjust the speed. Go slow at first, or you'll spill. Point the remote at the center of the screen and press B button and then move the cursor in any direction of the arrow. Zucchini is one entry on the surprisingly long list of fruits treated as vegetables. Boss. Boss. Aim the cursor while holding the B button to spread the topping. It's hard to write or follow recipes for bread products since the moisture required varies on the flour used as age and the moisture content in the air. Stop! Stop! Hold the B button and move the Wii remote up and down to chop. One quarter has elapsed. In a happy accident of nature, it is generally agreed that zucchini, as we know it, is the result of many spontaneously occurring mutations on the more Come common Come on, I'm pointing at the screen. Slice! Slice! Our theme ingredient is notorious as a garden commander. Where it grows, it grows really, really Select. well. Chop. How to chop? Most people use a medium-sized chef's knife to get this job done. Oh. Got to chop. Excellent. Chop. Chop. Chop is this one. Since yeah. the summer squash or zucchini really took off in Italy, it has taken a prominent role in a wide variety of foodstuffs there. Chop, 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 Oh, there we go. Now we're going. Chop. Chop. The idea is to get as much food product processed into roughly the same size as quickly as possible. Excellent. Slice. Slice. A chef's knives are often carried with them in rolls to store all of the pieces that they need. You don't mess with someone else's knives. 
Excellent. Real. Real. Point at the food when the perfectly cooked and hold the B button and pull the Wii remote up to remove the food. Flare ups look pretty cool, but aren't good for the food. Oh. 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 Oh, I burnt them all. They're going to be horrible. Hold. <laughs> Whoop. Three quarters have elapsed. Twist the remote while holding the B button and pointing at the screen. Keep the bowl balanced between pouring. Chefs are often much more comfortable with making it in a mess, but it's still important to get enough of the correct ingredients into the pot. Oh, I hope I don't have to eat gelatin. The wiggliness makes me gag. Let's get this going. I got dinner reservations after this. Don't forget the salt. Right. Right. The item and press the B button to pick it up, and then to press the B button to drop the item. Although some dishes have dozens of components involved, in the end, they have to all come together to make one cohesive dish. Um, I'm pointing at the screen. Thank you. Let's see how my cuisine turns out. What have you prepared for us today, chef? That's all I can really say about it. Ooh, I love to eat, but this dish is gonna make me think twice about that in the future. This dish satisfies every need. Now I don't have to go to the bathroom anymore. Ah, I spilled some on my pants, but it's so good, I'm gonna eat them when I get home like they are seconds. Chef, we breathlessly await the delicacies that you have prepared for us. Oh, the flavors hurt my mouth! The plate looks pretty, but it feels like gross in my mouth. Individual parts, I love them all, but I don't think this is coming together as they were intended. Well, so far, I'm doing better. Has been cleansed. Now I want something more exciting. Today, two culinary masters met to wage an all-out battle here at Kitchen Stadium. The judges have spoken, and the winner is. The challenger. 
All right, I think the right nails to cook. This blow staggers me. I seem to still need education. Merci, Jose's. And with that, we close another epic conflict in Kitchen Stadium. The chairman and judges have gone on a journey of culinary experimentation and come out with a verdict on the other end. Next, another battle, another ingredient, and another wafer of victory to be dispensed at its conclusion. Hmm. Good. We got our first one. Oh, I really whooped his ass. <laughs> oh, that's our next opponent. Okay, so it just keeps going to our next opponent. That's all I need to know. I introduce to you all a special challenger in this illustrious competition. Yeah, I smashed the character him. who does not already hold the title of Iron Chef. Welcome, Chef, to Kitchen Stadium. about to start an epic battle a match of yes. skills and creativity yeah, previously unseen that's why we're doing this you will battle Whoa. iron chef Ling Shu. i wanted to i didn't want to play the regular scheduling so thank you i wanted to take a break from the regular schedule there's always play more some to fun games in kitchen stadium than just the hour time limit the wily chairman often pops up a surprise just to keep things interesting with bated breath here we sit audience judges and i your humble announcer waiting to see what great riches and devilish challenges await let's to the chairman chefs there is one final ingredient to this battle our secret ingredient what is the secret ingredient the secret ingredient is Sweet potato! Ooh, it's sweet potato! Oh, 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 oh. The chairman has revealed his hand. And now it's time for our two battling culinary masters to go all in or just plain fold. It's time for us to hunker down and watch the show. I gotta the show. pick a good Judgment venue here. In one hour. What do I want to cook? Alright. Come on, where's my thing? Yeah, I'm... Yam, pass, yam pot pie, Ingle. I'm gonna do a soup first. Follow it up. Followed up by a salad with this there. That's gonna be my menu. We'll see if this'll work. I don't know. Sweet potatoes? That's kinda gross. Trace the pattern with your cursor and while well, holding the bean. If I can get my cursor to work. Slice. A purple variety of a yam called ube is sweet and eaten as a dessert in the Philippines. Excellent. Sauce. Sauce. I don't know how to do sauce. Do sauce. Arm. One quarter has elapsed.
そうだねチョップチョップ The true yam is native to Africa and Asia and is only distantly related to the potato Excellent Whip! Whip! Got a whip The first mechanical mixer, a hand crank model, was patented in 1870 by a Rhode Island man named Sir Walter Scott Oops, too fast Nice. Getting things done quickly but safely is the key. Chop. Chop. One half has elapsed. Chop. Oh. Sweet potatoes have been domesticated as crops for at least 5,000 years in the tropical areas of North and South America. Stir! Stir! Hold the B button and move the Wii remote quickly in a circular motion. What could this be for? Hmm, it looks like it might be coming together as a sauce or a marinade of some sort. Select. Chop. Chop. Got to chop. The idea is to get as much food product processed into roughly the same size as quickly as possible. Stir. Stir. Three quarters have elapsed. is almost as big as mine but this one is getting used the more I eat the happier I am I've taken many stars away from a lot of restaurants don't fall under the same, same fate. fate plate oh now we're at plating prodigious proliferations of unnecessary babies aren't usually preferred The big differences between haute cuisine plates and homier dish presentations are often height and definition of structure. Plate. I'm trying to point at the screen. All right, judging time. What have you prepared for us today, chef? Well, I just feel like this dish just yelled at me. But I'll give you points for completing the meal, but that's it. So far, I didn't pick a good menu. I wish I was a cow so I could have four stomachs and eat a lot more of this. Well, I've heard of the mythical nectar of the gods, but I never thought I'd be privileged enough to taste it. What have you prepared for us today, chef? More ingredients don't necessarily make the dish better. Nobody thought that making a dessert out of the secret ingredient was possible. And we were all right.
My tongue can't thank you enough. It feels like cartoons on my tongue. Today, two culinary I don't know. We both got pretty decent reviews. We both had a hit and a miss. The judges have spoken. And the winner is... The challenger. Ooh, we got walked away with it. I guess I picked up a good Thanks menu. for the battle. You so have it all together. Good work. And with that, we close another epic conflict in Kitchen Stadium. The chairman and judges have gone on a journey of culinary experimentation and come out with a verdict on the other end. Next, another battle, another ingredient, and another wafer of victory to be dispensed at its conclusion. smashing that time but we did we got it oh shoot thank you I thought I put it in retro this morning all right, well, we'll change it to Iron Chef. Well, thank you. There we go. I'll update it. We're in Iron Chef now. You earned a reward for perfect 60. Okay. You earned a reward for fast cooking. Right. Now we're up against Go. Obviously, I know how to pick my dishes. I introduce to you all a special challenger in this illustrious competition. The only competitor who does not already hold the title of Iron Chef. Welcome, Chef, to Kitchen Stadium. Iron Chef. Can I cook it? <laughs> I don't know. Battle. A match of skills and creativity previously unseen. You will battle. Iron Chef oh. was better in Japan Iron than America. Chef Bobby Bianco. This is gonna be all or nothing. There's always more to a battle in Kitchen Stadium than just the hour time limit. The wily chairman often pops up a surprise just to keep things interesting. With bated breath, here we sit. Audience, judges, and I, your humble announcer, waiting to see what great riches and devilish challenges await. Let's to the chairman. Chefs, there is one final ingredient to this battle. Our secret ingredient. The secret ingredient is... I see. Bell pepper. Bell peppers. Whoa. We could do a lot with bell peppers now. We got this. The we announcement of our peppers. secret ingredient marks the true commencement of this contest. We'll have a single helping of delicious success to dole out one quick hour from now. We could do a lot with this bell. All right, come on. Where's my cursor? Yeah, the cursor just I'm having trouble with the cursor lately. And then Run yeah, bell pepper to cool to We're gonna open with a bell pepper salad and a calino and then this. That's how we're gonna do our dish. That's our menu. 
Nice. Nice. Mix. Mix. The first mechanical mixer, a hand crank model, was patented in 1870 by a Rhode Island man named Sir Walter Scott. Sauce! Sauce! I can't wait to play Amazing Race. That's gonna be a fun one. Chop! Chop! Bell peppers, regardless of color, register a big fat zero on the Scoville heat scale. Latin! Latin! One quarter has elapsed. Whip! Whip! Chop! Chop! While mammals are impacted by the amount of capsaicin in a pepper, and mammals besides humans seem to find the uh, burning heat unpleasant, birds entirely unaffected. Lice. Lice. The chemical components of chili peppers are used extensively in both Native American medicines and in Western medical practices where they're used to treat uh, arthritis pain as well as circulation problems. Shop. Shop. The fruits we call peppers were named peppers because they create a similar heat in the mouth as the spice black pepper, even though the plants share no botanical links. Chop! Chop? One half has elapsed. Well, we need a hurry then. Oil! Ooh, new one, oil. Hold the B button and twist the Wii remote while pointing at the screen to turn the dial. Keep the top of the bubbles below the rim of the bottom. Confusingly, the word paprika is also used to describe whole bell peppers in some European nations. Oop, turn it too much. Yeah, I could definitely do better. Green bell peppers are unripened versions of any other color of bell pepper. Red, yellow, pink, and mottled colors signify different varieties. Chop! Chop! Peppers are handled in an alarming number of ways throughout the world, including pickling, stuffing, smoking, drying, and slicing into wee little strips for adorable crudite. I don't need a history lesson on food, please. Three quarters have elapsed. Great. Botanically speaking, the peppers that we eat are not vegetables, they're fruits. I hope my comments are the only thing dry here today. May your first challenge not be your last. I'm just here for the food. Blight! Fine knife work can be used to create elaborate garnishes out of smaller vegetables, fruits, and herbs. Uh oh, somebody's climbing in with a pop grade. Oh, uh, it would be Turtle. Again today, Turtle? You got me yesterday. You don't need chefs. to come in again no. today. Points awarded for presentation can easily make or break a total balance. Guess you had enough of your Nickelodeon stuff today. Late. Well, thank you all for the birthday wishes. Oh, I need to plate my last one. Hold on. 
I'll catch up in a minute. Thought I had one more to play. Another two games done today. Nice. What have you prepared for us today? All right, let's see if I can win this one. But yeah. So I guess I know what game we'll play next after this one. It this seems very rushed. I think it could have been good if you had more time. You really brought whether up you're around or not. This dish, despite we all just the started this one. The caves I have to play or something else. Approach, but a tad out of place. I appreciate the spirit behind the effort, but the actual execution falls a little short of my Oh man, I don't want these reviews. There's much that can be done in a battle, Chef. Let us taste what you have prepared. Oh, I, I picked the wrong cuisines. Something's off here. The secret ingredient is overcooked. I don't really have anything encouraging to say. Next judge. Hmm. Yeah, he got a bad review too. Okay. This dish is amazing. We usually are playing games in uh, release years. So that's why we're looking. It's a glimpse of the future. Tasty. Like These are 2008 jazz games. Musician, your riff on the secret ingredient brought my taste buds to unexpected oh, places. Oh, he might beat me. So that's a great review. Today, two culinary masters met to wage an all-out battle here at Kitchen Stadium. The judges have spoken. And the winner is... The Challenger. Nope, I win. Awesome. I got him. Got him. I don't know where your taste buds are from, but they're bad, and your decision was obviously wrong. I guess I choose the pretty of decent menu. The stadium is that no battle is truly the last. There are always new culinary frontiers the chairman wishes to explore, chefs with something interesting to express in their food, and challengers that want to test their true might against the best there is. Until the time of another battle commencement, I bid you adieu. Bid you adieu. Yeah, it was a close one. Look at that, 5841. I had better taste and originality in presenta my presentation. Excellent in chopping. Excellence in stand mixing. On track career. Alright. Got three ribbons out of that one. We're up against Vega. Next. I introduce to you all a special challenger in this illustrious competition. The only competitor who does not already hold the title of Iron Chef. Welcome, Chef, to Kitchen Stadium! You are about to start an epic battle. A match of skills and creativity previously unseen. You will battle. Oh. Iron Chef, Reina Vega! This will not be easy but for But after you. this game, we're going to play some, uh... Action Girls Racing, which was picked by a Turtle. There's always more to a battle on Kitchen Stadium than just the hour time limit. The wily chairman often pops up a surprise just to keep things interesting. With bated breath, here we sit. Audience, judges, and I, your humble announcer, waiting to see what great riches and devilish challenges await. Let's to the chairman. Chefs, 
Uh oh, oh here we go. What is it today? Our secret ingredient. <gasps> the secret ingredient what is it? Is... What is it? Carrot. Ooh, oh. anybody need some eyesight? Cause. One short hour from this point will reveal the success and failure of our challenger's take on today's unique secret ingredient. It is a true test that will be rewarded with truly delicious potential. Delicious potential. Let's go. All right, do we want, we don't want cannelline. Do we want chowder or hot stickers? Nah. Do we want some carrot pot pie? Carrot fajitas? Carrot ensalada? Carrot ramekin and honeydew soup. Hmm. This is I think we'll open up with Rim de la Carrot. Follow it up with some carrot fajitas. Then a carrot ramekin. That's gonna be our menu. Oh, I have to select four. Ooh. So we're gonna drop this. Uh, what do you guys think? Chowder or pot pie? Or insulata? Chowder. Alright, chowder it is. Chop! Chop! Chop, 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 chop. Slice! Slice! The carrot plant has held such an important role in European cuisine that it developed a number of alternative names, including the Devil's mm -hmm. Plague, Fiddle, Hot Trot, Bird's Nest Root, and the simple to the point Garden Carrot. Chop! Chop! Odd though it may seem, modern day Afghanistan is probably the source for the wild ancestors of the carrots we know today. Sauce! Sauce. A lot. Great. Great. By 1999, more baby peeled carrots were sold than whole carrots for a grand total of 172 million tons of carrots cut into little peeled tiny versions. Weird. Yeah, I hope you guys like uh, Food Blessing because this game's all about food blessing. One yeah. quarter has elapsed. We get a food lesson throughout this game. Great. Great. For the chowder. A mixture of celery, onion, and carrot sauteed together is considered a holy trinity of French cuisine and is commonly called a mere plum. Whip. Whip. Whip it good. Creating any sizable quantity of butter should really be handled by either a superhero or a stand user. I have access to a machine, but if you have a week in the house, you'll be. Chop! Chop! The carrot most often seen in American produce sections is a cultivar called Imperator. Chop! Chop! 5,612 residents of Holtville, California host an Imperial Valley Carrot Festival every year to honor their favorite tapper. Slice! Slice! One half has elapsed. Slice, 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 slice. Chop! Chop! The chop, 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 chop. No fingertips. You'd be sad. Oh god, boil. I'm bad at boil. Boiling and simmering are two entirely different physical states. Confuse the two, and the results could be disastrous. Oh, 
Got it. Alright. Okay. Saute. Now, I don't I haven't done this one yet. When the food is perfectly cooked, point at the screen and hold the B button, and then quickly move the cursor off screen. It may taste great, but butter is lousy for frying because it's got a very low smoke. Point. Boil. Got to boil again. Oh boy. As of 2005, China was the biggest grower of carrots and the closely related turnip, providing at least one third of the world's crop. No. Nope, did it again. Great. Great. Three quarters have elapsed. Oh wow, we only got 15 minutes. We better hurry up and get this stuff done. Oh god, grill. I failed this one last time. Flare ups look pretty cool, but aren't good for the food. Let's eat. I have Pilates later. If I don't have a heart attack from the richness of your food, then you've truly lost. I love food. Don't ruin this for me. Buttered man, he's kind of rude. The orange carrot unintentionally became a symbol of hope for Dutch independence, probably because of the House of Orange's signature color. Great. Besides containing considerable amounts of iron, parsley is also good for freshening the bread. Great. There's the chowder. Spoiler alert. Baby carrots found in many American mega marts are not little carrots conveniently peeled, but bigger carrots hacked into small sections. Plate. Chef, we breathlessly await the delicacies that you have prepared for us. Yeah, he was. He was taking it a little bit serious. A fiery blend of bad and worse. Huh. I can't believe it. This is the first time that the tastiest part of the dish was before I took a bite. Oh, you didn't like that one. Very refreshing, very fun, with a touch of familiarity that ties it all together. Wonderful. It's a fine plate, but I feel you're holding back like you're afraid of the secret ingredient a little. We've been watching well, with I, great curiosity, chef. I kind of like the Please, feed. Let us taste your dishes. Hot stickers. Sorry, but this doesn't ring any bells for me. I feel like this dish is a little undercooked. I'm surprised I'm not dead. There was the chowder that we were we made, but we didn't get the review on. This is so good. I'm jealous all the other judges are eating it because I want it all to myself. When I took See, I should have went with your, your thing, Turtle. Singing, the chowder was the hit. Welcome change from the usual voices in my head. Today, two culinary masters met to wage an all-out battle here at Kitchen Stadium. The judges have spoken. And the winner is... The Challenger. Oh, we still win. 
Sometimes people don't detect the sophistication and thought that goes into my food. I'm sorry if those qualities were too subtle for your palates, judges. Sadly, we are at the end of our epic bout of titans in Kitchen Stadium. The judges have laid down their decision. The winner will soon reap the fruit of victory, and we will be back for another session of true culinary greatness. Okay. Uh, by 10 points. Excellent in plating. Cool. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have eleven more opponents to do. How many have we done? One, two, three, four. Four. So about four every four we're looking at almost three hours for this game. I introduce to you all a special challenger in this illustrious competition. The only competitor who does not already hold the title of Iron Chef. Welcome, Chef, to Kitchen Stadium! You are about to start an epic battle. A match of skills and creativity previously unseen. You will battle. Oh. Iron Chef, Sharia Ard! This will be fun. The challengers pace restlessly. It is clear that they fear what Kitchen Stadium will throw at them. Could the chairman's master plan be one of simple, homely ingredients intended for greatness or exotic delicacies that our chefs may not have dealt with? Melty scoops of delicious triumph await the chef that fares best, while the other opponent will be sitting by the table begging for scraps. Our chairman waits to announce the terms of our battle. Chairman? Chefs. Oh, what's our secret ingredient, ingredient this time? Battle. Our secret ingredient. The secret ingredient is... Squab! Oh. Okay, like this is it. gonna... This is interesting. This is interesting. And with that, our battle begins. Whoa. The chefs and their teams are forming plans, the full extent of which the judges won't be privy to until an hour has passed. Got to select four dishes, so... Pan fried squab, squab pot pie, squab pizza, squab patties, squab ravioli, red cooked squab, sweet and sour squab. We're gonna open up with squab. I get judged on my first two. Oh. Trying to debate what I want. Oh, I think pizza is just stretching it. I'm not sure about pot pie. It's like a burger. Open up with. I need something light. Let's open up with that and then the burger. Let's do some stir fry. That's the four I'm gonna pick. All right. Oh, probably a bad menu though. Nice. Rind. Rind. That's a new one. Since the word squab is used to denote a fledgling pigeon of around four weeks of age, as well as a couch or a cushion, one could ostensibly eat pigeon while sitting on a pigeon with a pigeon. Shred. Shred. Now that's a new one. Hold the B button and move the remote up and down to chop. 
Shredding long cooked, super tender meats can be most quickly accomplished with something pretty similar to a chopping motion. Stir. Choose your weapon wisely. Whisks are great, but not for everything. Spoons, on the other hand, won't integrate air like a classic balloon whisk. Shake! Shake! Hold the remote up and down while hold, hold. This doesn't have to be a very precise All right, we're shaking operation. it. Great. Great, we know how to do. One quarter has elapsed. Considered a specialty meat today, squab sells for around $12 a pound, and the birds are about a pound each when cleaned. Slice! Cutting is defined as separating surfaces of soft solids. Say that three times fast. How about no? And how about you shut up about your lesson? Different cuts of meat even from the same critter, can require entirely opposite treatments. Mix. If you're mixing egg whites and something thicker, like for a souffle or a mousse, fold the ingredients together. Don't beat the air out of them. Slice. Squab, in its current culinary definition, is a one-month-old pigeon that has reached adult size, but is not yet flown. We're eating pigeon? Slice. Is that what you're telling me? One half has elapsed. Burr! Today's secret ingredient is certainly pigeon, Come on. but shouldn't be confused with the bird we know as Manhattan Flying Rat. Sourcing meat is becoming an increasingly nuanced task. Heritage breeds and small farms are making big impacts in high-end kitchens. Stir. Stir. Stirring can accomplish a number of things from a culinary standpoint. Uh, aeration, integration of differing ingredients, or even the beginnings of an emulsion. Dip. Moves the cursor over to item, press B button to pick it up and release the B button to drop the item. Depending on what's in the marinade, you might not want to let the food hang out in there too long. It can chemically cook or toughen the food, leaving you with a weird texture. Come on! Drop. Out. Out. Drop. Out. Drop. Out. Drop. Out. Drop. Out. Four. Four. Chefs are often much more comfortable with making a little mess, but it's still important to get enough of the correct ingredients into the pot. Slice. Slice. Three quarters have elapsed. Better hurry up, get our menu done. Saute. Frying at home means falling in love with your splatter guard. And don't move that hot oil. Cook smarter, not harder. Save me from mediocrity. I hope to taste an award-winning dish to match my award-winning smile. Look at that smile. Plate. The big differences between haute cuisine plates and homier dish presentations are often height and definition of structure. Great. 
Now our burger. They may look simple, but minimalist plates are harder to pull off elegantly than you think. Where'd my pickle go? Plate! Everything on the plate, including garnishes, should not only be edible, they should contribute to the overall dish. Alright, let's see how bad our menu is. Much has led to this moment. We await the flavors you have selected. With respect, this is not the secret ingredient's finest hour. There are many surefire ways to introduce this ingredient. I just don't think this is one of them. If this were one of my movies, it would open huge. This is bringing back some really fond memories for me. Nostalgia aside, it's perfect. Chef, please enlighten so they like the burger. with your innovative Good. creations. Maybe for a different battle, I'd be kinder, but this dish doesn't belong here. There are a few major I I flaws the sweet and sour. that drag this down. What did I say about the ravioli, though? Such distinct flavors erupt from this dish, though. I wish it had a bit more salt, but I was able to remedy that myself. With dishes like this, it's more a matter of opinion, and for me, it's like rather than love. Today, I didn't really like the ravioli, so I might be good. I love my burger. The judges have spoken. And the winner is... The challenger. Another flawless victory. This has been a great right learning exercise. I wish that I had done better, but I appreciate the judges' feedback. Another battle comes to an end in Kitchen Stadium. We have seen victory and defeat in equal measure. We have doled out accolades and a little scorn, and none involved will soon forget their time here. Until another battle and another challenge, I bid you good eating. All right, so we get to move on. Find out who our next challenger is going to be. <sighs> Excellent in slicing. Okay. You. I introduce to you all a special challenger in this illustrious competition. The only competitor who does not already hold the title of Iron Chef. Gail. Gail's our Gail. She can cook. Yes, Welcome, she can. Chef. Yes, she can. Kitchen Stadium. about to start an epic battle a match of skills and creativity previously unseen you will battle oh. 
Iron Chef. Jian Gui! There is only Jian one Gui. way. My way. There's always more to a battle on Kitchen Stadium. Okay, so what's our secret ingredient? Limit. The wily chairman often pops up a surprise just to keep things interesting. With bated breath, here we sit. Audience, judges, and I, your humble announcer, waiting to see what great riches and devilish challenges await. Let's to the chairman. Chefs, there is one final ingredient to this battle. Our secret ingredient. And what can it be? The secret ingredient is... White shrimp! Oh. For him? Okay. Hi, Chrissy! A flurry of activity by the secret ingredient altar marks the beginning of a frenzied hour in Kitchen Stadium. One will reign supreme and the other will feel the crush of defeat. Yep. That's what I'm going to open up. That's my menu. Shred. Stir. Stir. Australia and other former British colonies use the word prawn almost exclusively, making the catchphrase throw a shrimp on the bobby at best a misleading reference to Aussie barbecue. Flatten! Arguably the most famous American shrimp dish, the classic scampi, actually refers to the Italian name for a Norwegian lobster. Flatten! Or flatten? Although deveining is a common step in the preparation of shrimp, the shrimp don't actually have open circulatory systems. But hey, it sounds better than deintestining. Chop. Shellfish, including shrimp, is one of the most common food allergens in America. Yeah, we got a lot of shrimp. To Worry about. Okay. Slice. Slice. Cutting is defined as separating surfaces of soft solids. Say that three times fast. How about no? Chop. Chop. One quarter has elapsed. If you happen to get stuck for shrimpy menu ideas, just check out the Bubba Blue scenes of Forrest Gump for inspiration. Boil. Boil. I hate boil, but we're gonna do it. Sugar boils at a much, much higher temperature than water. I knew it. I know. I, I, I suck at that. Shrimp are an annual crop, since it's terribly rare for one of them to live longer than a year. Mix. Since Atlantic white shrimp are harvested along the American shores of the Atlantic Ocean, it makes sense to call them Atlantic white shrimp.
Chop. Chop. Chopping onions make people cry because the gas released by broken cells turns into an acid when it comes into contact with the liquid in your eyes. Dorky goggles have not been proven to help. Sorry. Flatten! Flatten! Bread making is an art, and that it is so undescribable how to do it best, and the results of a skilled baker are always just so darned amazing. Dip! Dip. We know how to do One dip. half has elapsed. In. 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 Out. I said out. In. In. Out. I said out. In. I said out. I said out. Slice. Slice. Other than the application of heat and how to use salt, no other skill is more important in a professional kitchen than knife skills. Chop. A chopping free for all translates really well into cartoon whirling dervishes, but it isn't very safe in a real kitchen. Sauce. Sauce. Getting things done quickly but safely is the key. I haven't seen uh, the uh, the big clock. Yeah. Sauce. Sauce. have elapsed I said flip it's burnt because I can't get it to flip I fucking hit the button and it just wasn't registering it may taste great but butter is lousy for frying because it's got a very low smoke point cover Move the cursor over the item and press the B button to pick it up, and then release the B button to drop the item. I had to sneak away from my trainer to do this, so I could eat a full meal for once. Don't be surprised if I ask for second. Through My skill me. level there was really bad, so I don't know if I got the swim. Practiced iron chefs know that the points awarded for presentation can easily make or break a total battle score. If items are meant to be eaten in a certain order or in specific combinations, tell your diners. Trust me, they want to know. Plate. When a whole dish comes together on the plate, it's a big relief in Kitchen Stadium. Plate. Hi, you made it. How you doing today? Thank you. We're in our second game of the day. We've been watching with great curiosity, Chef. Please let us taste your dishes. Let's see if I got a good review. I'm waiting 
for the punchline, because this meal is a joke. The secret ingredient shouldn't remain a secret. Mm, that was bad. That was bad. I shouldn't have done that one. I was hoping that this dish, like every dish, would have more bacon, but you still created something quite delicious. I've heard of the mythical nectar of the gods, but I never thought I'd be privileged enough to taste it. Chef, we breathlessly that was await a the decent delicacies review. that you have prepared for us. You want with a pot pie? Yep. I still haven't cooked a pot pie. I feel like this dish is a little undercooked. I'm surprised I'm not dead. It's so bad, I don't want to even waste my breath commenting on it. Not a big fan. Me neither. This plate just gave me a big hug. A mixture of flavors, but one that's not meant for the ingredient, unfortunately. But he got a pretty bad Today, review on both. Two culinary masters met to wage an all-out oh battle here this. at Kitchen Stadium. The judges have spoken. And the winner is... Challenger. The Challenger. Good. We win this one. Another one in our books. There is little to say in situations like this. But to thank you. A young buddy, he was known for who, his hunger food. Uh, As today's hunger. battle has shown us all, Kitchen Stadium is never stingy quack. in helpings of triumph quack. or humiliation. Quack, quack, quack. So it is with Kitchen Stadium. And until next time, good day. Good day. Who's our next opponent? I want to knock out the next one. Uh, Oh, I blew him out of the freaking water. 54 to 37. Dude, what the frick's your problem? Track career. All right, we're going up a three star now. I introduce to you all a special challenger in this illustrious competition. The only competitor who does not already hold the title of Iron Chef. It's Gale, our Gale. Welcome, Chef, to Kitchen Stadium. to start an epic battle a match of skills Sense. and creativity previously unseen Sense. you will battle it oh. iron chef alfred valerie there's a method for everything tonight the chairman has prepared for us a devilishly clever theme to test culinary supremacy. What well, is going to be our secret term, ingredient? Gastronomic superstars continues to <laughs> amuse the judges. In the end, one chef will leave with a hearty helping of victory, and the other will be cast aside with the leftovers. And with that witty banter, let us turn to our chairman so that we all may assess the difficulty of his latest challenge. Chefs, there is one final ingredient to this battle. Our secret ingredient. The secret ingredient is... Albacore tuna! Ooh, tuna. Oh, There's some things with tuna. And with that, our battle begins. The chefs and their teams are forming plans, the full extent of which the judges won't be privy to until an hour has passed. We could do some things with some tuna. I 
I like that dish. I like this dish. I'm gonna choose five of these. Latin. Chop. Until 1903, tuna was generally seen as a, a nuisance fish that got in the way of other more important seafood. The sardine shortage forced a change in the American public's perception of the fish. Excellent. Oh god, it's boil. Boil. Albacore tuna can weigh in at up to 130 pounds and push lengths of 50 plus inches. No, nope, it went over. Slice. You're looking to produce pieces of equal thickness so that they'll all cook at the same rate. Mix. Mix. This fish is most easily identified by its extraordinarily long pectoral fins. Wow, it can be we just up to fucked three that up. The length of the fish. Filet. Filet. Okay, pretty much like what we did. Intricate before. cutting work is required in places that people don't usually expect. For instance, almost all butchery is far more precise than it seems. Mix. Mix. The FDA does not define or authenticate sushi-grade fish. Instead, it is a label applied at will by the supplier. Avoid problems by learning to love your fish mark as the chairman. Slice. Slice. One quarter has elapsed. Four. Four. Tokyo's famed Skiji Market at 3 a.m. bars visitors from the tuna auction area, both to prevent impediments to trade as well as to control sanitation. Flatten. In America, only albacore tuna can be sold with the label white meat tuna. Other species are sold under the label light meat. Chop. Chop. Chop, 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 chop. For a variety of tasks like uh, mincing and dicing. Roll. Roll. Many species of tuna swim with dolphins to discourage shark attacks, but the albacore tuna does not. Pressure cook. Pressure cook, that's a new one. Hold the B button, twist the remote while pointing at the screen and turn the dial. Don't let the pressure cook too high. Safety Small valves nose. release steam and lower the pressure in the pot, effectively eliminating the possibility of a full-fledged blowout. Yeah, I just, that one just, those I just have to drug on. In baking, a lot of products can be classified by the method by which they are mixed. Slice. Slice. One half has elapsed. I hope I'm halfway through the tasks. But don't run out of time. Fish, centering largely around tuna off the shores of Cuba was popularized by Ernest Hemingway. Stir. Stir. What could this be for? 
Hmm, it looks like it might be coming together as a sauce or a marinade of some sort. Pressure cook! Mm. Now, the albacore is capable of what's called thermoregulation, meaning they can control their body temperature to a certain degree, and this allows for very deep diving. Now, for those of you out there who are amateur ichthyologists, you know how weird that is. Boy, oh. uh, another one. One little cheat that's allowed in Kitchen Stadium is that we get a big pot of water boiling for each kitchen before the battle starts. Cauldrons that size could take the whole hour to get up to temp. Real. Now, the oldest recipe that uh, I could find in my research for the genre-defining tuna noodle casserole dates to 1940. I doubt that we'll be seeing a rendition of that classic dish in this battle, but hey, I've been wrong before. Chop. Chop. Most people use a medium-sized chef's knife to get this job done. Three quarters have elapsed. Great. Although there is some mystery surrounding the death of the Polynesian god called Tuna, all the retellings of the story conclude with his head being buried. From that spot, the first coconut palm sprouted and is seen as a gift from the gods. Let's God. eat. I have Pilates later. If I don't have a heart attack from the richness of your food, then you've truly lost. Don't forget the salt. Oh, I put plenty of salt Blade. in it for you, sir. They may look simple, but minimalist plates are harder to pull off elegantly than you think. Everything on the plate, including garnishes, should not only be edible, they should contribute to the overall dish. Plate! Fine knife work can be used to create elaborate garnishes out of smaller vegetables, fruits, and herbs. Layering items adds both height and visual appeal. That's not something that can be scored specifically. Think of it as a personal expression. Plate. Plate. See if we can win this one. What have you prepared for us today, Chef? It's going. Working on our second game. Having fun with this one, though. Decision making. Yeah, what do you know? I got an admirer. Uh, does this chair come equipped with a barf bag? Oh. I love to eat, but this dish is going to make me think twice about that in the future. Oh, he didn't like my dish. Well, I've heard of the mythical nectar of the gods. Okay, they like the second one. Enough to taste it. Okay. I'm not exactly sure what I was looking for in this dish, but I was reasonably impressed with what I found. We've been watching with great curiosity, Chef. Please. 
Well, I got a good review and a bad missions. review. We'll see if this work, works in my favor. Enough is enough, and yet you went further. I thought the plane was so pretty, but it didn't taste that way. The rest of the dish is battling the ingredient for control, but the battle is quite enjoyable. The fancy flavor lives up to the fancy name. I feel like I'm traveling the world again. Today, two culinary masters met to wage an all-out battle. If I here, win, Kitchen Stadium. The judges have spoken. And and the winner is the challenger. Okay, I won. Awesome. Thank you, judges. I am really sorry that I couldn't get the combinations right for your palate. That's awesome that I got it. As today's battle has shown us all, Kitchen Stadium is never stingy with helpings of triumph or humiliation. <laughs> so it is with Kitchen Stadium. And until next time, good day. Oh. I didn't win, win by much, though, at least. All right, our next opponent. Ooh. I introduce to you all a special challenger in this illustrious competition. The only competitor who does not already hold the title of Iron Chef. Welcome, Chef, to Kitchen Stadium. You are about to start an epic battle. A match of skills and creativity previously unseen. You will battle. Oh. Iron Chef, Sharon Soup. I hope you're well prepared. There's always more to a battle in Kitchen Stadium than just the hour time limit. The wily chairman often pops up a surprise just to keep things interesting. With bated breath, here we sit. Audience, judges, and I, your humble announcer, waiting to see what great riches and devilish challenges await. Let's to the chairman. Chefs, there is one final ingredient to this battle. Our secret ingredient. The secret ingredient is... Artichoke hearts! Oh, Brussels sprouts! The announcement of our secret ingredient marks the true come on. of this contest. Kill him, we'll have a single helping of delicious success to dole out one quick hour from now. Killing me, man! Killing me! Kind of like that dish. I like this dish. Gonna make some chowder. Six, five, four. I don't like melon soup. Um. Here's my five. All right. Slice. Oh, 
Das. Das. Und du zum Sauce. Playwright Johann Wolfgang Goethe couldn't condone Italian peasants' practice of eating thistles and said as much in his book right. Travels Through Italy. Hopefully, I picked the right dishes. Didn't change the dietary habits of Italians. Job. Although the common presentation in markets has the bulk of the stem already removed, the globe you buy actually stands atop a three foot stalk. It wasn't Brussels sprouts, it's uh, our artichokes. The first mechanical mix, a hand crank model, was patented in 1870 by a Rhode Island man named what Sir the, I didn't Walter even Scott. go that fast. There's an Italian aperitif made largely with artichokes. It's called Cenar, and I wouldn't be surprised to see some today. Whip! Whip! 1948 was a banner year for artichokes. I didn't That's even go that fast! Marilyn Monroe was crowned the artichoke queen in Castroville, California. Great! One quarter has elapsed. Your knuckles. Flatten! Artichokes can be made into an herbal tea, which is produced almost exclusively in the Dalat region of Vietnam. Slice! Cutting is defined as separating surfaces of soft solids. Say that three times fast. Chopping free-for-all translates really well into cartoon whirling dervishes, but it isn't very safe in a real kitchen. Slice! The artichoke cultivar Green Globe is virtually the only type grown in America. Chop! Chopping as a term can cover a variety of tasks like uh, mincing and dicing. Slice! One half has elapsed. Frying foods doesn't necessarily make them greasy. That, in fact, is a byproduct of being cooked at too low a temperature or for too long. Boil. Mmm. I hate boil. Mmm. A watch pot never boils sounds a little too self-defeating for my tastes. Essentially 100% of the U.S. artichoke crop is grown in California. Boil. Three boils in a row. Wow. Water could be a conduit for flavors to enter or negatively to exit a food item. Grill! Different cuts of meat even from the same critter can require entirely opposite treatments. Great. Micrograders are amazing for making smooth paste out of nearly anything. Chop. Three quarters have elapsed. 
We got 15 minutes on the clock. That's it. So we better hurry up. What you're looking for in a good yeasto is called window painting, where light can shine through a section of the stretched out dough. Great. These kinds of micrograders aren't the best choice for softer cheeses. They just turn to mush. Look for uh, dry aged cheeses like Parm to really respond to this tool. I'm not easily impressed, so you have your work cut out for you. I'm ready to be wowed. I'm looking forward to what you create. Plate! Prodigious proliferations of unnecessary garnishes aren't usually preferred. Plate. Layering items adds both height and visual appeal. That's not something that can be scored specifically. Think of it as a personal expression. Blade! Our theme ingredient today is a perennial thistle that was first cultivated in Naples around the middle of the 9th century. Blade! Everything on the plate, including garnishes, should not only be edible, they should contribute to the overall dish. Plate. Let's see what he has to say about the food. Chef, we breathlessly await the delicacies that you have prepared for us. The secret ingredient isn't jumping out at me. Call the coroner. This dish was dead on arrival. Oh, I didn't like that. More of a shrug and a nod, just shy of headbanging and throwing the horns. Your ingredients play off each other like a great ensemble cast. Much has led to this moment. We await the flavors you have selected. There are many ways to describe the flavor in this dish, all of which end in horrid. It doesn't matter how well prepared it is, some flavors simply do not match. It's a fine plate, but I feel you're holding back like you're afraid of the secret ingredient a little. The successes vastly outweigh the mistakes. Perhaps it's a matter of taste, but I like this. It wasn't Today, a two overview. culinary masters met to wage an all-out battle this. here at Kitchen Stadium. Judges have spoken. And the winner is. The challenger. Woohoo! Another one down. There will never be enough time for me to learn all that I want to. Thank you for the opportunity. Another battle comes to an end in Kitchen Stadium. We have seen victory and defeat in equal measure. We have doled out accolades and a little scorn, and none involved will soon forget their time here. Until another battle and another challenge, I bid you good evening.
Yes. Uh, I did almost 10 points. Uh, at least I got something. Got three ribbons. to you all a special challenger in this illustrious competition the only competitor who does not already hold the title of iron chef welcome chef to kitchen stadium About to start an epic battle. A match of skills and creativity previously unseen. You will battle. Oh. Iron Chef, Tony Delasante! Who's your boss, huh? Who's your boss? When the challengers pace restlessly, it is clear that they fear what Kitchen Stadium will throw at them. Could the chairman's master plan be one of simple, homing ingredients intended for greatness or exotic delicacies that our chefs may not have dealt with? Melty scoops of delicious triumph await the chef that fares best, while the other opponent will be sitting by the table begging for scraps. Our chairman waits to announce the terms of our battle. Chairman? Chefs. What do we got? There's one final ingredient to this battle. Our secret ingredient. The secret is? ingredient is... Veal! Veal. Alright. Alright. Alright, Twizzy! The announcement of our secret ingredient marks the true commencement of this contest. We'll have a single helping of delicious success to dole out one quick hour from now. Try this. Right. Gotta grind our meat. Shit. Biblical references to veal consumption aren't the only ancient records we have of this ingredient. Sumerian texts from 2500 BC mention veal being a luxury item served during celebration banquets. Right. Veal as a product was originally an idea to reduce some waste resources on dairy farms. Cows need to have a calf each year to keep making milk, and half of those calves are male. Not so good for making milk. Boiling is actually a pretty violent way to cook something, at least on a cellular level. Slice. Slice. Veal is specifically the meat of very young cattle, not a breed or type of bovine critter. Chop. Chopping free-for-all translates really well into cartoon whirling dervishes, but it isn't very safe in a real kitchen. Four. One quarter has elapsed. Wait. Wait. Watch 
Watch your knuckles. Watch your knuckles. Slice. Slice. There is very little waste or unusable product to feel, and a pound can often serve three to four people. Shake! Shake. Putting a coating on the outside of foods before they are deep or shallow fried provides layer of protection and moisture retention. Roll! Roll. Stir. Stir. Whip it! Oh, we are stirring it. Jeez, I couldn't resist. One half has elapsed. We're halfway done. Pressure cook. All right, pressure cook. Long cooking items like dried beans and tough cuts of meat are ideal choices for the pressure cooking. Sourcing meat is becoming an increasingly nuanced task. Heritage breeds and small farms are making big impacts in high-end kitchens. Stir. Stir. If you're mixing egg whites and something thicker, like for a souffle or a mousse, fold the ingredients together. Don't beat the air out of them. Pressure, Up pressure cooker. Yeah. Watch the gauge to keep the pressure in line. Blowing out all the steam will increase your overall cooking time. Grill. Grill. Pushing gently on the meat can tell you how done it is on the inside, but learning the skill takes lots of practice. Four. Four. Three quarters have elapsed. Keep your eye on the clock. Be afraid. Be very afraid. May your carbs inspire me. All right, time to play. Play! Production of eel is frequently criticized as cruel, since the calves are kept in small corrals to reduce movement and produce better meat. Late. Although some dishes have dozens of components involved, in the end, they have to all come together to make one cohesive dish. For a while during the dot-com era, most cubicles were smaller than the pins that veal calves are kept in, leading disgruntled workers to relabel their office areas as veal fattening pens. Plate. Plate. Plating is as aesthetic an art as painting and as hard to define. Play it again. All right, Let's see what my dishes sound like. Much has led to this moment. We await the flavors you have selected.
For the ingredient and the skill involved, what ended up on this plate is a tragedy. I feel this entree is airy and unsatisfying. The pairings are a bit of a stretch, but I've got to hand it to you for originality. I'm sure more refined palettes at this table might find this uninspired, but it complements the other courses nicely. Chef, we breathlessly await the delicacies that you have prepared for us. Something's off here. The secret ingredient is overcooked. I don't really have anything encouraging to say. Next judge. There's only one thing missing from this dish. Seconds. I think the inspiration was there, but the execution could have benefited from more time. Today, two culinary masters met to wage an all-out battle here at Kitchen Stadium. I wonder if I win. The judges have spoken. And the winner is... The Challenger. There was good food made in your kitchen. Congratulations. Another battle comes to an end in Kitchen Stadium. We have seen victory and defeat in equal measure. We have doled out accolades and a little scorn, and none involved will soon forget their time here. Until another battle and another challenge, I bid you good eating. You have proven many things during this gauntlet of battles. It seems that my Iron Chefs are in some ways constrained by their focus on specific cuisines. With great honor and a sated palate, I am honored to award you the title of Iron Chef! <gasps> Six more opponents to go. I introduce to you all a special challenger in this illustrious competition. The only competitor who does not already hold the title of Iron Chef. You just made me Iron Chef. Yeah, you're telling me I'm not Iron Chef. Okay. Welcome, Chef, to Kitchen Stadium. You are about to yeah, start an epic he was battle. very forgetful. A match of skills and creativity previously unseen. You will battle. Oh. Iron Chef. Marty Bianco! It's time to do science! When the challengers pace restlessly, it is clear that they fear what Kitchen Stadium will throw at them. Could the chairman's master plan be one of simple homing ingredients intended for greatness or exotic delicacies that our chefs may not have dealt with? 
melty scoops of delicious triumph await the chef that fares best, while the other opponent will be sitting by the table begging for scraps. Our chairman waits to announce the terms of our battle. Chairman? Chefs, there is one final ingredient to this battle. Our secret ingredient. The secret ingredient is... What? Never even heard that of this ceremony ingredient. means that the battle has truly begun. We're in for a lunch lady scoop of competition in the coming hour, the fruits of which we'll sample firsthand. I have no I have no I guess four. Okay, it was four. Wants a boar fight he is. most often found in the southern states, mainly in forests. They are considered an invasive species by the U.S. government. Oil! Oil! Like domestic pigs, boar have no sweat glands and need to wallow in mud or hang out in water to keep cool in the summer. Slice! Slice! True wild boar is a game meat and therefore should be treated a lot like, say, venison. Right. Boars are generally vegetarian and can smell food underground, which they'll dig up with their strong snouts. Right. Sausage making is a technique that goes back ages. Chop! Chop! In some parts of Europe, hogs are used to hunt for the elusive fungus known as the truffle. Great. One quarter has elapsed. Slice! When performing long straight cuts entirely through something like this, Use the full length of the knife blade. Shake! Shake. Shake, rattle, and roll. Putting a coating on the outside of food before they are deep or shallow fried provides layer of protection and moisture retention. Four! When adding any alcohol to a pan on the stove, turn off the heat. Flambe is good for a show, but it can be sad for the eyebrows. Mix! Creaming any sizable quantity of butter should really be handled by either a superhero or a stand mixer. I have access to a machine, but if you have a mutant in the house, feel free. of nestish area that a boar builds is called a cauldron. Kind of creepy. Mix! These Mix huge spices. animals have an excellent sense of smell and good hearing, but lousy eyesight. Pressure cook. Pressure cook. From an anatomical standpoint, wild boar and domestic pigs are close enough to get the uh, same kind of cuts from each critter. Grill. 
One half has elapsed. Oh, I should have cooked them a little longer. We've got some serious mixing going on over here. It looks like Chef will need to get a lot done in this hour. Keeps not focusing on the screen. Okay. Okay. Boar can grow to be up to 300 pounds. They have straight tails, stiff fur, and the males have some nasty curved tusks on them. Grill! Now we're grilling again. The Sus scrofa lineus is also referred to as wild boar, feral hog, old world swine, and razorback, among other more colorful modifiers. Poor. Chefs are often much more comfortable with making a little mess, but it's important to get enough of the correct ingredients into the pot. Pressure goes! Safety valves release steam and lower the pressure in the pot, effectively eliminating the possibility of a full-fledged blowout. Three quarters have elapsed. Mix the meatball sauce. Grill. Flare ups look pretty cool, but aren't good for the food. Greetings and salivations. All right, so now it's I'm not easily impressed, so you have your work cut out for you. I'm just here for the food. Blake! They may look simple, but minimalist plates are harder to pull off elegantly than you think. Besides containing considerable amounts of iron, parsley is also good for freshening the bread. Plate! Fine knife work can be used to create elaborate garnishes out of smaller vegetables, fruits, and herbs. Plate! Some game meats are traditionally soaked in milk to take off the uh, kind of gaminess of the cut, but uh, as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't work. Plate! Both. See if we can get through it. Much has led to this moment. We await the flavors you have selected. I ain't working for some reason. I don't know what's going on with it. It's so spicy, it should come with a tiny fire extinguisher. There are so many ways you could prepare this ingredient, and I feel you picked the wrong method. Mm, didn't like the fajitas. Looks like I'm going to have to stop by a church because this is sinful. 
This was very enjoyable for the time you were given, but still enjoyable. What have you prepared for us today, Chef? I feel this dish is trying to challenge my palate instead of satisfying it. More ingredients don't necessarily make the dish better. This is a great snack, not a memorable course. Delicious, but extraneous doesn't really enhance or celebrate the ingredient in a unique way. Today, two culinary masters met to wage an all-out battle here at Kitchen Stadium. The judges have spoken. And the winner is... The Challenger. All right, we got another win in my book. I certainly tried. <laughs> Maybe next time. Thank you, judges. Sadly, we are at the end of our epic bout of Titans in Kitchen Stadium. The judges have laid down their decision. The winner will soon reap the fruit of victory, and we will be back for another session of true culinary greatness. Uh, okay, Let's see how bad I beat him. It was... Okay, that was close. Got a bunch of ribbons. Our wildcard chef has bested many to this point. Now awarded the title of Iron Chef for an unprecedented display of culinary mastery. Come forth, brave challenger. <laughs> Welcome, chef, to Kitchen Stadium. of skills and creativity previously unseen. You will battle. Oh. Iron Chef, Bernie McGee. Oh, you trust me. Bernie I'm McGee. Going good. There's always more to a battle in Kitchen Stadium than just the hour time limit. The wily chairman often pops up a surprise just to keep things interesting. With bated breath, here we sit, audience, judges, and I, your humble announcer, waiting to see what great riches and devilish challenges await. Let's to the chairman. Chefs, there is one final ingredient to this battle. Our secret ingredient. The secret ingredient is... Portobello mushrooms! Oh. Mushrooms, okay. Hey, Chrissy! The chairman has revealed his hand, and now it's time for our two battling culinary masters to go all in or just plain fold. It's time for us to hunker down and watch the show. Judgment in one hour. Hey, what dishes do we want to make? That's figure out.
All right, what do we want to make? We got this carbon. That looks good. That's pot stickers. We're definitely gonna make this and this. 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 I'll we'll make some more. Slice. Flatten. Got to flatten. The identification of mushrooms in the wild is not something to try ever without a trained professional helping you out. Mix. A mushroom colony in the Malheur National Forest in Oregon. Is thought to cover nearly 2,200 acres and has lived there for nearly 2,000 oh years. Great! Great. Portobello's, more than any other kind of mushroom, frequently used as meat substitutes. Chop! A variety of mushrooms can do all sorts of cool tricks, like produce dyes, replicating practically any color, or they can function as kindling, which is probably why Ertzi the Iceman had some in his pack. Flatten! Portobello mushrooms are actually mature brown cremini mushrooms. They're prized for their earthy taste and meaty texture. Chop! Chop! When a cremini mushroom gets to be four to six inches across, it's suddenly and magically dubbed a portobello. Marketing. Chop. Cutting up that much stuff without having to worry too much about perfection can be one of the most pleasurable prep tasks in the kitchen. Latin. Most mushrooms are high in fiber and supply a number of nutrients, albeit in small amounts. Chop. Chop. One quarter has elapsed. Yeah, a quarter has elapsed. So what? Great. Watch your knuckles. your knuckles to guide the knife. No fingertips. You'd be sad if you did that. Slice. Slice. You're looking to produce pieces of equal thickness so that they'll all cook at the same rate. Shredding long cooked, super tender meats can be most quickly accomplished with something pretty similar to a chopping motion. Slice. Slice. Chop. Chop. Chopping is a term Ooh, that covers a variety of tasks like uh, mincing and dicing. Chop. Chopping onions make people cry because a gas released by broken cells turns into an acid when it comes into contact with the liquid in your eyes. Dorky goggles have not been proven to help. Sorry. Mix. 
Current models of stand mixers often have an attachment hub that can accommodate a number of nifty add-ons like sausage makers, pasta rollers, or even heck? blenders. I've been sucking at blending lately. Saute. Frying is defined as cooking a food item in hot fat. Chop. One half has elapsed. All right, half has elapsed. Sorry, I got you. Wait. So we need to pick it up. The idea is to get as much food product processed into roughly the same size as quickly as possible. Boil. Boil. Water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit at sea level, but 100 degrees Celsius yeah, is a lot more momentum and math friendly. I know I overdid it. Slice! Sourcing meat is becoming an increasingly nuanced task. Heritage breeds and small farms are making big impacts in high-end kitchens. Real. I'm being entirely serious here. Almost anything can be grilled. Fruit, lettuces, and of course, a variety of delicious meats. Sauce. For the pizza. Stir. We've got some serious mixing going on over here. It looks like Chef will need to get a lot done in this hour. Great. Three quarters have elapsed. Yeah, we would need to get this on the barrel here. Sus. Sus. Other than the application of heat and how to use salt, no other skill is more important in a professional kitchen than knife skills. Cover! I pray you do not waste my time. Oh, I'm gonna waste I'm your time. I'm looking forward to trying something new. No autographs, please. Plate! Although some dishes have dozens of components involved, in the end, they have to all come together to make one cohesive dish. Plate! Whack! Plate. Now we're plating the pizza. If items are meant to be eaten in a certain order or in specific combinations, tell your diners. Trust me, they want to know. Plate! Practiced iron chefs know that the points awarded for presentation can easily make or break a total battle score. Plate! Last one to play, I'm pretty sure. Hey. 
Nature. Nope, only one more. See if our is good now. Much has led to this moment. We await the flavors you have selected. Maybe for a different battle, I'd be kinder, but this dish doesn't belong here. I'm oh, worried damn. about the richness. I'm worried it's going to dominate the rest of the meal. Pleasant, if a little predictable. Love the aroma. Love the presentation. Like the flavor. Much has led to this moment. We await the flavors you have selected. I didn't do so good with my selections this time. The whole time I was eating this, I was asking myself, why? And worse, why me? This will not be my favorite dish of the evening. I am a huge fan of this plating. It's like I'm eating art. You are full of surprises. You have my number here. Keep them coming. I really like Today, this plate. Two culinary masters met to wage an all-out battle here at Kitchen Stadium. The judges have spoken. And the winner is... The challenger. Oh, I got it. Awesome. Whatever battle come judgment time, I think of the dishes I got on the table. I'm proud of what I done in the last hour, even if it didn't earn me the win. And with that, we close another epic conflict in Kitchen Stadium. The chairman and judges have gone on a journey of culinary experimentation and come out with a verdict on the other end. Next, another battle, another ingredient, and another wafer of victory to be dispensed at its conclusion. Right. Ooh, look how close that was. That I barely beat him. Barely. Beat him by one point with taste. Ouch. I almost had to redo that one. Our wildcard chef has bested many to this point. Now awarded the title of Iron Chef for an unprecedented display of culinary mastery. Come forth, brave challenger. Ooh. Welcome, chef, to Kitchen Stadium. I told you that one's broke for some reason. I don't know why. A match of skills and creativity previously unseen. You will battle. Oh. Iron Chef, Cat Cora. No matter what, this is sanity. going to be interesting. You better get ready. Who's to say what is more difficult in Kitchen Stadium? The time, the unfamiliar equipment, the pressure placed on your further career opportunities, if the unfortunate outcome is a defeat, or the secret ingredient, the true X-Factor. 
With all of the glory on the line, we have two challengers, That's both alike working. in dignity, waiting for their test to be named, their Moby Dick to surface. It is a fight for the full hour here, folks. Let us now turn to the chairman and receive his mandate. Chefs, there is one final ingredient to this battle. Our secret ingredient. The secret ingredient is... Sablefish! Oh. Oh. Cuisine. And with that, our battle begins. The chefs and their teams are forming plans, the full extent of which the judges won't be privy to until an hour has passed. These fish are found in the North Pacific, all the way up to the Bering Strait, and they get markedly larger the further north they are caught. Red. Red. This fish is known for a smooth, rich texture and slightly sweet flavor. Chopping free-for-all translates really well into cartoon whirling dervishes, but it isn't very safe in a real kitchen. Fillet! Slow and smooth will serve the chef better than rushing through this part. Fillet! Got another fillet? Damn. Sablefish is from the family Anaplopomatidae, which includes only our secret ingredient and one other fish, the skillfish. Mix! The current model of the KitchenAid stand mixer is little changed from the model first discussed in its original patent application filed in 1937. Nope. One quarter has elapsed. Great! Great. The Alaska Sablefish season runs from mid-March all the way to mid-November. Great. Micro-graders are amazing for making a smooth paste out of nearly anything. Shake! Shake, rattle, and roll. This doesn't have to be a very precise operation. Pressure cook! Maintaining the pressure at a particular PSI is required for recipes to work as written.
Come on, I'm going in circles. Salted boiling water is almost always better than plain because it gives you a chance to season the food while it's being cooked. Uh, turn. These ones just boil my blood. Yeah, fail. It's just, I'm aiming at the screen and it just doesn't. Chopping matter. onions make people cry. I don't think I'm gonna win this one because I'm really itself. messing up. The, Turns into an acid when it comes in contact with the liquid in your eyes. Dorky goggles have not been proven to help. I'm sorry. One half has elapsed. Real. Flare ups look pretty cool, but aren't good for the food. Stir. Stir. If you're mixing egg whites and something thicker, like for a souffle or a mousse, fold the ingredients together. Don't beat the air out of them. Flatten! Flour comes in different sizes, it grinds, and different amounts of protein. Boil! Boiling is actually a pretty violent way to cook something, at least on a cellular level. Humanity's early attempts at nourishment educated the observer that food must be digestible, leading to the proliferation of boiling as a go-to method for breaking down hard to eat foods. Poor. Chefs are often much more comfortable with making a little mess, but it's important to get enough of the correct ingredients into the pot. Sauce. Sauce. Three quarters have elapsed. It's really important when frying to not crowd the pan. It makes a mess and it lowers the temperature of the oil to the point where it can't recover its heat quickly. This kitchen is almost as big as mine, but this one is getting used. I'm wearing bacon underwear, I love it so much. I expect to taste inspiration. I'll try to give you inspiration. Wait. If items are meant to be eaten in a certain order or in specific combinations, tell your diners. Trust me, they want to know. Wait. Plating is as aesthetic an art as painting, and as hard to define. Plate! When a whole dish comes together on the plate, it's a big relief in Kitchen Stadium. Plate! They may look simple, but minimalist plates are harder to pull off elegantly than you think. Plate! Everything on the plate, including garnishes, should not only be edible, they should contribute to the overall dish. Plate!
Timothy, what do you think about my food? There is much that can be done in a battle, Jeff. Let us taste what you have prepared. There are some things you don't know you dislike until you try them. So for educational purposes, I'm grateful. This dish tastes funnier than the sound of a whoopee cushion. Well, they didn't like that first one. I wouldn't say there are any mistakes here. It's just a little short on excitement. You've managed to bring out the flavor of the secret ingredient without it being too bready. What have you prepared for us today, Chef? Thought about it, don't like the burger. This is the only time I feel a dish would taste better when it's coming back up. It's not my place to question your decisions, but yeah, the result the is unbalanced. Ideal for it. I didn't think raviolis was the right one. Let's see. Looks like you were on a roll with this dish. This plate just gave me a big hug. Today, two culinary masters met to wage an all-out battle here at Kitchen Stadium. The judges have spoken. And the winner is... The Challenger. Woohoo, another one. You seem to have a good handle on the challenges of Kitchen Stadium. You've earned this. The beauty of Kitchen Stadium is that no battle is truly the last. There are always new culinary frontiers the chairman wishes to explore, chefs with something interesting to express in their food, and challengers that want to test their true might against the best there is. Until the time of another battle commencement, I bid you adieu. Barely, barely. Three left. This one's just gonna take us a little over three hours, but that's fine. Our wildcard chef has bested many to this point. Now awarded the title of Iron Chef for an unprecedented display of culinary mastery. Come forth, brave challenger. Ooh. Welcome, chef, to Kitchen Stadium. of skills and creativity previously unseen. You will battle. Oh. Iron Chef, Masaharu Morimoto. Oh, we shall right. have the skill against each other. Under cursed breath, many a battle has been doomed before it even really started with the announcement of the secret ingredient. It has befuddled, bemused, and darn near beheaded many a stoic chef, but today's battle promises greatness. The stoic parties are assembled. The test has been prepared. Now, all we need to do is await its announcement and see whose skills are up to the test. Chairman, what have you found for us today? What is chef, our secret ingredient? There is one final ingredient to this battle. Our secret ingredient. The secret ingredient is... 
Eggplant! Oh. Oh, crazy! And with that, our battle begins. The chefs and their teams are forming plans, the full extent of which the judges won't be privy to until an hour has passed. Start with an eggplant salad. Do a chowder. It's pantalones. Hold the B button. I was like, why ain't they great? And... Oh, they A medium eggplant weighs in at around one pound and will serve three people. Mix! The eggplant technically is a bear, just a really big one in most cases. Slice. Cutting is defined as separating surfaces of soft solids. Say that three times fast. Chop. Thomas Jefferson, responsible for a lot of previous introductions in the United States, was also the prime sponsor of the eggplant. Sauce! The eggplant is native to India, and due to its chameleon-like culinary properties, is often called the king of vegetables in that country. Great. A grater is anything but a unitasker. These babies can tear through tons of stuff like garlic, ginger, and hard cheeses. Flatten! Here's a useful fact. Aubergine, our British friend's name for the eggplant, is also the highest scoring word used in a sanctioned Scrabble tournament. Shop. One quarter has elapsed. Chopping as a term can cover a variety of tasks like uh, mincing and dicing. Whip. When using a mixer to combine flour and any sort of fat or liquid, don't put the spurs to it right away unless you're looking to see flour fireworks in your kitchen. Chop. Chop. Slice! Spanish, who were introduced to eggplant by the Moors, also thought that the food was uh, an aphrodisiac. Slice! A chef's knives are often carried with them in rolls to store all of the pieces that they need. You don't mess with someone else's knives. Chop! 
Most people use a medium-sized chef's knife to get this job done. Chop. One half has elapsed. All right, half has elapsed. Salted boiling water is almost always better than plain because it gives you a chance to season the food while it's being cooked. Boil. One little cheat that's allowed in Kitchen Stadium is that we get a big pot of water boiling for each kitchen before the battle starts. Cauldrons that size could take the whole hour to get up to temp. Saute! Frying is defined as cooking a food item in hot fat. Stir! Batters that are aerated chemically should not, under any circumstances, be overmixed. Lumps will cook out of pancake batter, I promise. Stir. We've got some serious mixing going on over here. It looks like Chef will need to get a lot done in this hour. The idea is to get as much food product processed into roughly the same size as quickly as possible. Grill. There's some hot action going on at the grill station over here. Poor. Chefs are often much more comfortable with making a little mess, but it's important to get enough of the correct ingredients into the pot. Latin! Three quarters have elapsed. Monte. Modern day home fryers are much safer and can control heat much more accurately than older versions. Mm, that was over. Great. I'm so excited. I can't tell you the last time I've eaten. Seriously. Let's get this going. I got dinner reservations after this. I expect to taste inspiration. Late. The big differences between haute cuisine plates and homier dish presentations are often height and definition of structure. Plate. Although some dishes have dozens of components involved, in the end, they have to all come together to make one cohesive dish. Plate! Prodigious proliferations of unnecessary garnishes aren't usually preferred. Late. If items are meant to be eaten in a certain order or in specific combinations, tell your diners. Trust me, they want to know. Late. Test this time. Chef, we breathlessly await the delicacies that you have prepared for us. Mm. 
I'm learning some combinations are best left to the imagination. This dish reminds me of a, a romantic evening with a cheese grater and my face. Mm, I didn't like that one. I've never had anything explode in my mouth quite like this. Oh, my mom used to make this for me all the time. After having tasted this, I want to slap her for doing it wrong, thus ruining my childhood. There is much that can be done in a battle, Chef. Let us taste what you have prepared. That was the pot. I'm waiting for the punchline, because this meal is a joke. The true flavor was overpowered by flair and fell flat. This meal and my tongue have become best friends, and I look forward to many playdates. If I only had one complaint, I'd say that it's not big enough, because I want to eat it forever. Today, two culinary oh, no, masters this one's met close. to wage an all-out battle here at Kitchen Stadium. The judges have spoken. And the winner is... The Challenger. All right, we got through it. Every Iron Chef has lost at least one battle. Sadly, we are at the end of our epic bout of Titans in Kitchen Stadium. The judges have laid down their decision. The winner will soon reap the fruit of victory, and we will be back for another session of true culinary greatness. All right. I wasn't as close as that last one, so at least, you know. Alright, get back in it. Or to skip the videos this time. Okay, here's the deal. I don't remember what we picked, so I'm gonna pick those. Sure. Brian. Brian. The term Kobe beef indicates both a method of care as well as a particular breed of cattle. Eating the meat of poultry and mammals was prohibited in Japan until the mid-19th century, but it is rumored that Kobe beef was raised and enjoyed in secret before that time. Submerging something in boiling water for just a flash is called blanching. Slice! 
Other than the application of heat and how to use salt, no other skill is more important in a professional kitchen than knife skills. Man. While the four breeds of cattle generally used to produce Kobe are now considered to be native to Japan, in truth they are fairly recent additions to the islands. Slice! At different times, real Kobe beef is sold for around 300 US dollars a pound. Creaming any sizable quantity of butter should really be handled by either a superhero or a scan mixer. I have access to a machine, but if you have a beef in the house, feel free. Chop. One quarter has elapsed. Slice! Cutting is defined as separating surfaces of soft solids. Say that three times fast. Shake. This doesn't have to be a very precise operation. Shred. Cutting up that much stuff without having to worry too much about perfection can be one of the most pleasurable prep tasks in the kitchen. You're looking to produce pieces of equal thickness so that they'll all cook at the same rate. Yeah, I know. Roll. Roll. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Slice. A chef's knives are often carried with them in rolls to store all of the pieces that they need. We don't mess with someone else's knives. Pressure cook. Kobe-style beef is used to describe any Wagyu cattle raised outside of Japan using the methods used in Kobe, Japan. Got it? I suggest you make a really good friend of your butcher. That's the only person on this planet that can tell you about what you are buying. Boyo! Boyo! One half has elapsed. Too much. Too deep. Too much heat. Depending on what's in the marinade, you might not want to let the food hang out in there too long. It can chemically cook or toughen the food, leaving you with a weird texture. An emulsion happens when tiny droplets of one type of liquid are suspended in another type of liquid, making a non-dairy but creamy liquid. Stir! If you're mixing egg whites and something thicker, like for a souffle or a mousse, fold the ingredients together. Don't beat the air out. Four! Chefs are often much more comfortable with making a little mess, but it's important to get enough of the correct ingredients into the pot.
Flatten. Bread making is an art, and that it is so undescribable how to do it best, and the results of a skilled baker are always just so darned amazing. Slice. When performing long, straight cuts entirely through something like this, use the full length of the knife blade. Pour. When adding any alcohol to a pan on the stove, turn off the heat. Flambe is good for a show, but it can be sad for your eyebrows. Sauce! Three quarters have elapsed. Okay. Deep frying and shallow or pan frying are effectively the same thing. You just have to flip the stuff and shallow fry. Saute! The Wagyu herds of Japan are so profitable for meat alone that they are considered nearly useless as work animals or for milk production. I hope you redefine delicious. I'm not easily Almost impressed, done. so you have your work cut out for you. I predict a tasty front coming from the kitchen. Blade! Prodigious proliferations of unnecessary garnishes aren't usually preferred. Plate! Although some dishes have dozens of components involved, in the end, they have to all come together to make one cohesive dish. Plating is as aesthetic an art as painting, and as hard to define. Don't shoot quack at me. Hopefully this thing don't lock this When time. a whole dish comes together on the plate, it's a big relief in Kitchen Stadium. Plate! Layering items adds both height and visual appeal. That's not something that can be scored specifically. Think of it as a personal expression. Much has led to this moment. We await the flavors you have selected. The technique has merit, but what it has produced is not for everyone. It's not really for me. The aroma is very... Aggressive. There's so much to like here, but right now it's not working on one plate. I thought the breading was going to overpower this dish, but it's so light and flaky, such a perfect balance. Much has led to this moment. We await the flavors you have selected. I love the presentation, but there's something indelicate about the flavors I don't like. I don't think this is a good example of what the ingredient is capable of. They need to eat so. 
Okay. I was a little concerned that the sweet would overpower the savory, but you balanced it quite nicely. I like it, but I feel it was overshadowed by your previous dishes. Today, two culinary masters met to wage an all-out battle here at Kitchen Stadium. The judges have spoken. And the winner is... The Challenger. There are things that I'll remember for a very long time. This whooping was one of them. Thank you. All right, we got our last fight coming in. And with that, we close another epic conflict in Kitchen Stadium. The chairman and judges have gone on a journey of culinary experimentation and come out with a verdict on the other end. Next, another battle, another ingredient, and another wafer of victory to be dispensed at its conclusion. We know what didn't work. And he didn't really like the burger. Well, no, the burger was yummy in the tummy. Let's try this combo. Shop. I was not expecting to spend four four hours on one of these games, but oh well, things happen. Latin. In the state of Massachusetts, it is illegal to sell a dead lobster for human consumption. So, buy them live, buy them frisky. Chop! In general, lobsters just kind of bumble along the sea bottom, but if they're in danger, the little buggers can hit speeds of up to five meters per second. Lobsters can come in a wide variety of colors, from red to purple to green. When they're cooked, they all come up. It's illegal to buy a dead lobster. Yeah, obviously. Let me learn. So if you bought a lo lobster as dead, then you can sue. Hide the knife. <laughs> no fingertips. You'd be sad if you did that. Flatten! Kneading stretches the gluten, which can then capture gases, allowing the bread to rise. Great! While most people consider the tail meat to be prime eating, true lobster aficionados go after the meat stuck in those little spindly legs. Slice! A chef's knives are often carried with them in rolls to store all of the pieces that they need. Don't mess with someone else's knives. 
Break. Until reliable transportation could move live lobsters to metropolitan areas, it was used extensively as fertilizer. Slice! One quarter has elapsed. about plunging a lobster headfirst into boiling water? Don't worry, you can buy an electrocution device that'll do the job for you in the UK for only 2,000 pounds. Mix! In Mix. baking, a lot of products can be classified by the method by which they are mixed. Cutting up that much stuff without having to worry too much about perfection can be one of the most pleasurable prep tasks in the kitchen. Slice! When performing long, straight cuts entirely through something like this, use the full length of the knife blade. Oil. Oil. There's no need to add oil to the water when boiling noodles. It doesn't do a thing. It just makes it weird and slick on top of your pot. Mix. Mix. The mixers in Kitchen Stadium are high and consumer models, mostly from four to six quarts in capacity. High volume commercial models usually hold around 100 quarts. Real. Real. Pushing gently on the meat can tell you how done it is on the inside, but learning the skill takes lots of practice. One half has elapsed. Oil! Oil. Ooh, oil overs can be messy affairs, especially when dairy is involved. Want to make sure to cover the entire surface area of an item being dredged or dipped. Flatten. Flatten. It's not unusual for a lobster to reach the century mark age-wise. Of course, such a critter would be uh, freakishly huge and probably not very tasty. Slice! You're looking to produce pieces of equal thickness so that they'll all cook at the same rate. Grill! There's some hot action going on at the grill station over here. Slice. Slice. Sauce. 
Sus. Three quarters have elapsed. Yeah, we gotta hurry. Slice! Other than the application of heat and how to use salt, no other skill is more important in a professional kitchen than knife skills. Saute! Deep frying and shallow or pan frying are effectively the same thing. You just have to flip the stuff in shallow frying. Cover! I'm so excited. I can't tell you the last time I've eaten. Seriously. Don't even bother with plates, just dump the food in my feed bag. May your first challenge not be your last. Plate! Besides containing considerable amounts of iron, parsley's also good for freshening. Fine knife work can be used to create elaborate garnishes out of smaller vegetables, fruits, and herbs. Plate. Plate. Although some dishes have dozens of components involved, in the end, they have to all come together to make one cohesive dish. Plate! Plate! Beat him this time. We have an interesting tasting ahead of us. Chef, please start us with your offerings. I'm not good with confrontation, so I just won't say anything. If I had a nickel for every taste bud you pleased, I would be richer than Sissy over here. Chairman, we are delighted to be dining on your creations this evening. Please, enlighten us on what you've prepared. It's not terrible, but pretty forgettable. There are great dishes, good dishes, terrible dishes, but this is squarely between good and great. With great difficulty and equally great reverence to the culinary skills on display this historic evening, the judges have spoken. The winner is... Kitchen Stadium's newest Iron Chef! 
I thank you for this opportunity to do battle with such a culinary master as yourself. I have waited a very long time for this. Thank you so much for these tests and training. Yay. I've learned more here than I could have ever hoped for. In honor of you winning the International King of Iron Chefs Tournament, I present you with this token to represent such an achievement. You are now the King of Iron Chefs. I ask that you keep the knowledge of my true intentions to yourself. A time may come again when I call on the culinary greats of our time to retest their skills. For this, and the honor of battling a true master, I thank you. Beat him by one point. Oh, yes. It was my presentation that beat him. I guess I gotta go run my own credits. It run credits. It was a pretty solid game. It really was pretty solid.
Well, that was Iron Chef Supreme Cuisine. We took down the chairman. We became the Iron Chef Champion. So all that's left to do is that was game number 153, and it can go back to the shelf and stay there. And so that is that. And if Turtle's still around, which I doubt, because that game took a little bit longer than normal, but up next we have Action Girls Racing Boated by Turtle.